Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going? What's up? You all ready for the new day? It's a whole new day, new adventure. Yes, sir. Well, tell the five people where we're going, Isaiah. We're gonna go to a, a place that uh, I've always wanted to go, Waffle House. Yes, sir. Very excited to go, very hungry, craving some, you know, some good breakfast, some eggs, some toast, some bacon, some hash browns, a waffle, maybe. First time I went there, the last time I went there, was with uh, B Money and Nick Howard. Oh. They introduced me to Waffle House. I've never been before. Yeah. It was amazing, and now, I'm so excited to go back. Yeah, you've been too, right, JB Taylor? Yep. Me and my dad was supposed to go one in Memphis, but it was so packed we did it. So I'm really excited for this. We got some Waffle House, some Top Golf, baseball game. Uh, so it's gonna be a fun day. Yeah, yeah. We got the we got the NWO shirts on. Yes, Ooh, sir. Sweet. Let's go. All right, guys. We'll see y'all in a bit. Look at this fag. Fuck you. Here we go. So guys, we just left Waffle House, and it was absolutely amazing. <laughs> this is my second ever time, like I said, and. Uh, the, I had, What I had was the all-star special. So two sunny side up eggs, some bacon, ash browns, uh, some toast, and a waffle. I tore that shit up. I left nothing behind. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to lie, Josh. That toast looked hella good. It was. It was amazing. I got the same thing as Josh as well. Yeah. That shit was amazing. JB Taylor my, and myself both got the uh, hash brown. Had hash brown eggs and bacon. Got a side of waffle. He got, look, he got a mug. Five bucks. Like, that's a hell of a good price. Good ass food for a cheap price, man. 12 bucks yeah. for a fucking meal. Yeah, it was 15 for mine and his. I mean, just the quality of food you get for that cheap. Waffle House, the hype is real, man. The people were incredible. We're sitting. Right yeah. Right and everybody at the diner's like, oh, where are you guys from? And, oh, I enjoy wrestling and all that stuff. Like, yeah. That's what I love about Nashville, man. When me and Sean first came out here. Mm hmm fell in love with the, the city and the state because of just the hospitality of people out here it's just, it's a great vibe out here yes sir man yeah i love the people of tennessee man they're awesome but we're about to go in the city and uh josh me and you are about to <coughs> teach these boys a lesson and oh, talk so we're about doing 2v2 no, we, okay one, yeah 1v1 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 and josh i'm gonna beat you no well hopefully the system doesn't get rigged Guys, when we played out in Vegas, and then when we played out in Texas, this dude kept getting fucked over by the score. <laughs> he knew. Or I would hit the balls, it would go into the target, and it wouldn't count it. Yeah. Like every other ball. And it's not like it just happened in Vegas. When me, him, and Rogelio went, it happened to him again. So hopefully, that way I can get a fair win over this dude. <laughs> but all right, guys, we'll see you all in Nashville. Waffle House, we love you. <laughs> That's, that, that's your best friend, Jamie Taylor. <laughs> Try to get some. Fuck it, we got What the hell that? Talking about that big, like, yeah, it's a white oh, room. Whoa. What the hell? This it's is like a stage. Stage. What's wrong with Johnny Cash gonna perform Stay right in there? The second <laughs> <from right. laughs> Best in the biz, baby. Look at my swing, bro. That shit going on fucking out of space. Fucking uh, add your vehicle. Bow! Ah! Oh, better swing than Cody Bellinger. Well, he yeah. doesn't have a good swing. Exactly. So, guys, uh, we decided that uh, Top Golf was gonna take us right up to the game. So we're gonna go tomorrow. So stay right now. We're about to walk over to the Country Music Hall of Fame. So this should be interesting. So I'll show you guys as much as I can there. Let's go. Look at this bitch. <laughs> All right, guys. This is Bridgestone Arena, home of the Nashville Predators. Man, what a beautiful house arena. That is dope, man. What a beautiful ass arena. And here it is the Country Music Hall of Fame. Yo. So guys, I don't know if you could tell. That's the music center. But that's the music center. It's kind of built like a guitar. Let's go there. The yeah, I'm down. That's true. That's dope. So guys, we're currently inside the 
Currency Music Hall of Fame. I'm not gonna record much. Y'all can check it out yourself, but nice view of downtown Nashville and then it's just Come before they uh they blow it up. Whoa. FBI, you heard him. I said them, not me. Ah. Uh, what are you thinking of this place so far, Josh? I love it. So dope. Nah. Oh, you're so cool. This dude thinks he's cool. I'm just that guy. I'm just that guy. You guys remember where we parked? Uh, over there. Damn, look at this. Yeah. This is an Isaiah POV. This will be in the Rocha video. Rocha, this is this is the Isaiah POV now. What up? Hello. Dude, that does look like the Avenger building right there. Oh, oh shit. shit, it do. Uh, we're entering what, this Music City Center? Yep. Yeah. All right then, no more Isaiah POV. Till next time. Whee. All right, well, here we are. We're on Broadway Street here in Nashville. Hell yeah, look at this, man. A lot going on out here. Restaurants, bars, live music right here. Yeah. Everywhere. Got Isaiah with his cowboy hat. Me and Sean were here. We, we, uh, we went to this barbecue place down here to the right. Okay. Uh, we went out. We were eating outside. It was nice, man. But yeah, guys. So here's uh, the front of Greystone Arena. Fucking sick, man. But yeah, here's Broadway. Fucking beautiful, man. Guys, we're getting two suites with the AW shirts, baby. Everywhere I go, man, wearing this t shirt. I, I love it. Fucking love it. Let's go, man. What a beautiful city. Yeah. Dr. Robot Sour. It's pretty fucking good. That's what's up, man. You got one, too. All right, boys. Well, that was an adventure. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was. Damn. Walking around downtown. That was awesome. City Country Music Hall of Fame. That was my second time being there. You guys liked it? Oh, it was yeah. awesome, man. Like, even though... I'm not that much into country. It was really cool to see a lot of that yesterday and stuff. Yeah. Um, after that, we just went walking around. We went to the Bridgestone. Yep. Which you guys saw in the clips. Yep. It's so nice, man. Like, this city really needs a basketball team. Like, yeah. It's a great vibe of a city. They love sports. And imagine just going in front of Bridgestone to catch a basketball game. And before and after the game, you just hang out on Broadway. Like, yeah, man. You saw, And y'all saw Broadway. Yeah. You know, yep. do around there and it's beautiful. I can imagine how popping this, this Broadway is when the National Predators are having uh, playoff games. Absolutely. Imagine basketball playoff games. We uh we were walking down Broadway. We got caught up in a storm. That was cool. We went inside a yeah. candy shop. Me and Rocha got some ice cream. Yep. JB, you got some... Uh, I got a white chocolate covered Oreo pretzel. And I got a milk chocolate coconut cookie. Ah, they were and Isaiah got these nuts. <laughs> Big old nuts. Yo, we went to a belt shop. Oh, yeah. Saw the belt shop. So, they already saw the hat. I got a hat, too. Yeah, it's the hat. And then we went to a belt shop, and I could not caught my eye. So, we got a belt, too. Look at the details on that. Yeah. I mean, that's just so awesome, man. It's a Mexican eagle eating the flag. Right? Yeah. Eating the snake, I mean. Fuck. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Let's see. We went to the bar. That bar is hella nice, man. Live music and a beer. Um, that was the beer. Oh, how was the beer, guys? Yeah, Mr. Robot's Sour. Yeah, I think Blackberry and Sour. Yeah, it was like a specialty beer around here, so it was really good. It was smooth. 
Rocha got mistaken for someone in Jackass? Yeah, this lady thought Rocha was that fat dude from the new Jackass movie, and we said to him, dude, if someone thinks you're famous, yeah. just say you is. Hell yeah. yeah it's wrong with it. <laughs> now, if somebody ever asks me if I'm Josh Gad, I'm saying yes. Like, I have to. <laughs> you have to know his IMDb page, though, otherwise you're just going to fucking... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, it was, it was a great time. Um, the fucking chick up behind the counter at the candy shop fucking was being flirtatious. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she was cute, too, but, you know, yeah. I'm going to take it now, so... Was, uh, you know, are you Josh? Yes. <laughs> but, um... And now, up next, as you guys see right here, Ballpark time, baby. Baseball. Baseball. We're going to be as loud as we fucking can. We're about to be the biggest Nashville sounds the ballpark's ever known. Yeah. Oh, Wait. and also, we're going to blow up the fucking sound. Whoa. Whoa, what? <laughs> Whoa, chill. I'm sorry about that. Oh, probably, yeah. All right, guys, well, we'll see you over at the ballpark. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. We are here at the Sports Bar. Ballpark is right across the street. We stopped in and got some pizza. Look at all this pizza. All right. Shout out to uh, Rosh and Isaiah. And Isaiah for covering me for this pizza. Thank you. So, J.B. Taylor, he bought a Hawaiian-style pizza mm -hmm. with pineapple. For years, we've talked about this on the channel during streams and how we would never eat this and it's disgusting how do people like this stuff recently i said i would try it so here we go pineapple on a pizza with ham That's not bad. <laughs> okay. So the the sweetness, the pineapple, mixed in with the ham and the cheese and the sauce, it just kind of I don't know sweet and savory taste to it. It's not that bad. It's, okay. I thought it was gonna be like I was gonna spit my food out. Yeah. It's not bad, JB. There you go. It's not that bad. Rochi, now you're gonna try it. Alright. Let's go. Let's go, Rochi. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Yeah? I love ham on pizza, so I don't mind it at all. Alright. Yeah, the pineapple and the ham and all, it all works together. It's not something that I would just go out and get like every day. Yeah. Stop it. Alright, there we go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we are at the ballpark. Hi, guys. Hi, JB. We made it. There it is. Roach, you excited? Yeah, beautiful ass field, man. I'm excited for tonight. Um, so something funny happened. Yeah. We came to the ballpark. We, <laughs> we walked through security and I go to scan the tickets and the guy told us, What? He said, This is the wrong day. It's for tomorrow. And we totally got confused. Yeah. Why? Because when it was announced that we were going to go see Undertaker, right, at his one-man show on Friday night, yeah. we didn't even think about the game, which we purchased for Tomorrow. Friday night. Yeah. We just assumed in our heads, because we wanted to go to that Undertaker thing, that it was going to be today that we went yeah. to the game. Can't believe that, man. So we were like, oh, fuck. What are we going to do? So we go to the box office and I asked the guy, hey man, listen, we're from out of town and we accidentally purchased the tickets on the wrong day. Yeah. We can't attend the games, the, the game tomorrow. And the dude was like, okay, um, give me your name and your phone number. He verified that I bought the tickets and everything like that. And the dude switched our tickets from tomorrow to today. Fucking clutch, man. I was, I didn't, I've never thought to do that. I didn't think it was going to work, but yeah. the dude was really cool about it. So we got tickets for today. And um, we went in line over there. 
And we went to the wrong section. Yeah. And and uh, we came over here and we got into the game. And also, they sent four different links to tickets for Josh, and Josh only clicked on one and got hella scared. I was like, wait a minute, did they think it was just me going to the game? <laughs> But everything worked out. Yes, sir. That was really cool. And the people here are just incredibly Tennis, nice. Nashville, you're amazing. Yeah. So so now we're going to take the Let's game today. Enjoy the ball game, baby. Oh, that was crazy, man. I got worried there for a second. Yeah. We just got so caught up, you know? Yeah. We just did not think about the game today. We thought it was too much. Here. You want to go see our seats? Let's go. All right. Picked it back up. Yep. Yes. Yep. The Powerball jackpot is now up to $100 million. And the Mega Millions jackpot, maybe you heard about it, is up to $1.1 billion. What? If you can pay $3 billion, $4 billion, yes, turn into any Tennessee lottery retailer and play Powerball and Mega Millions. Oh, yes, sir. Powerball yeah. drawings are every Monday, Wednesday, and Five, Saturday. Six. And Mega Millions drawings are every Tuesday and Friday. So they all sit in six. You guys go sit over there. Tennessee Lottery Millionaire. Yo, these fucking seats are cold. Shit. Is it? No, oh, that way. Radio home for Nashville Sound. I'm gonna sit here for now. Catch every game, home and away on ninety four. Bro, look at this view, man. This is fucking phenomenal. I've never said this close. Uh uh. Right below us is the club. You guys ever sit this close? Fuck no. Other tickets are expensive. Right this is so dope, man. Anybody you recognize in this game? Yeah. So in this game, guys, we got Luis Robert rehabbing from the uh, White Sox. And you got some, you know, a Jake Berger who's been around for a while. You got Kinston Herrera for the Brewers, been around for a while. I recognize both Tony pitchers. So there's a few of them that I recognize. Now, I have a question. You've been to many minor league games. Yes. I've only been to major league baseball games. What's the difference? Well, I think honestly the only difference is it's minor leagues. I mean, I think that, no, like, is there more scoring or like, is there? A um, it depends what your league. So since we're the in Triple A, I think we'll see more scoring than pitching. Where if we go into a Double A game, that league is more pitching than hitting. So we should see some good hitting tonight. Awesome. But yeah, so here we go, guys. This is going to be awesome. All right, real quick, everybody. Score prediction. Uh, the Sounds are going to win 7 to 6. Okay. Well, the Sounds look like they fucking dominated the. Uh, 6 2. 6 2? 12 4. I'm going to go Sounds win 3 to 2. A good pitch game. All right, let's see what happens. All right, guys, see you on a bit. One of you. If you are seated in sections 104 through 108, please proceed down the east alley and through the gate to Junior Gilliam Way. If you are seated in sections 109 through 117, please proceed to the home plate entrance to Junior Gilliam Way. If you are seated in sections 118, Star Spangled Banner and Red. Or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Yeah! Play
Sweet of us! Nice! Hey yo, let's go, Wilson! Go get it, Josh. Josh got you, go. I want some money first. I'll tell you the The managers are cheering on their races. George is in the lead. Reba looks like she started about 20 minutes too late. The man in black is leading the pack as he hits the ribbon. Johnny Cash yeah. is the winner. Nice. Congratulations to Team Cash. Good work, my man. Jimmy, stretch it out, and here we go! Gentlemen, well, we just got through a couple rounds of Uno, and this guy won. You made us lose both the last games. I didn't make us lose shit. Yeah, bro, if you just played the fucking card like I told you, I wouldn't have challenged. And then before that, if you didn't flip the fucking deck, I had a plus five I was going to rape him with. I didn't know. I wasn't actually, no, because it wasn't your turn. I flipped it to Josh. Remember, I made Josh have to do a life or death fucking draw. <laughs> but uh so what do y'all think of today man probably my favorite day of the day i uh, we went to this uh music uh what was it the music of the hall of country, country music hall of fame country music hall of fame i really loved it and right now i'm in love with just the country feel uh the feel of it i bought a i bought a i bought a hat i bought a belt with a big old bell buckle mm -hmm. yes uh, we had a waffle house too i mean dude uh. For the price of it and how it was, I love Waffle House. I, I want to go back. For sure. It was it was fucking amazing. Our waitress was, was, was amazing too. She yes, was she was. She was on it. She got mm -hmm. everything. She made sure all her shit was straight. And um, uh, it was a pretty good day. We went to the baseball game. A very good that game. That was fun. Pitching wise, it was very good up until the end where uh, the it was the sounds who uh, eventually the came up with a 3-1 victory. Yes, sir. Liked it. it was a pretty good day. How do you guys feel about it? Josh? It was fun. I had a great time. 
I mean, Josh has been telling us about Nashville, man, and holy shit, this city is just so much fucking fun. The people, the people are so amazing. They're so awesome, man. Like, the hospitality here is awesome. JB Taylor? Yeah, it was a fun day. I enjoyed, even though I'm not a big fan of country music, seeing the history of it was so pretty fascinating. Seeing the early history of it, too, as well. Like, gold, like, like those paintings that had, like, the African-American people. Mm-hmm. That was, that was fascinating. And seeing, like, the nickel-plated guitars, that was pretty cool. And then the ball game itself, it was a lot of fun. Even, you know, you know, it's minor league, but it, yeah. it, it had a big league feel. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, man, today was awesome. Like, Nashville was just so dope. And, that, yeah, that ball game was hella fun. We were all getting in it, man. We had people next to us chilling and talking. It was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, the Country Music Hall of Fame was dope as fuck. Bridgestone Arena where the Predators played. The biggest arena I've ever seen in my, oh my fucking God, life. I forget, we went to fucking Broadway. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Broadway is so sick. Broadway is beautiful. So we're going to be on Broadway again tomorrow before we go to the Undertaker uh, thing. Yeah. But yeah, so man. After, we're going after, after. Yeah, yeah. We were supposed to go top golfing today, but the wait was about, what, two or three hours? Yeah. yeah. And um, two we didn't three. do that instead. So we're probably going to most likely do that tomorrow. We'll have to see. They. Well, there wasn't availability until, what, Sunday? Yeah, but right when I wake up, I'm going to get us on our wait list. Yeah, so we'll do that. We'll do the wait list. And we'll play basketball. If you play basketball, you'll see that. Me beating the shit out of Josh and Roach and being kind of the king of basketball. Just like how I'm the king of everything else, you know? Except beer pong. We don't, we don't talk about that. Yeah, we don't even talk about that. Yeah, we, we straight choked that shit. We were like the Warriors, you know? <laughs> yeah. More like OKC. Ah, uh, nah, you guys. And, uh, I mean, pretty much a very great day. I mean, what, what was the best side besides us waiting, having to wait and then canceling for talk? Talk about break. That happens. Yeah. Oh, and then Rocha, fucking me and Josh saw Rocha come out of the bathroom again with another fucking older dude. Fucking give him some All right, I'm ending this vlog here, guys. <laughs> Thank y'all for so much for watching. It's been a lot of adventures here. Still got a few more days left in Nashville. Make <laughs> Was that an actual fart? No. You're disgusting. <laughs> Make sure y'all sum up this guy. Arriba. King of LA, baby. LA Faithful. Wow. Walk on Sports yeah. Talk. The Sports Theory. Roach Entertainment. We'll see y'all tomorrow for another day. Oh, Summer Slam is almost here. Almost. But we got another day. Take her tomorrow, Top Golf, Broadway. Should be another fun day. Oh, Roger, don't forget, I gotta shake your back. <laughs> You're gay. Bye, guys.